So as I read the end of Genesis 49 and look at the beginning of Genesis 50, we see that Jacob passes away and he wants to be buried with his, his father, his grandfather, you know, grandmother, mother, and his wife, Leah, not Rachel. And I think that's interesting. And, and then when we see how much, um, you know, Jacob, I mean, Joseph and, and really all of Egypt mourns the life of Jacob, I think we can really learn something from this. And that is that production matters, that that really at the end of it, production's the only thing that matters. And because when we see that Jacob is so valued, it's because he produced the 12 tribes of Israel, but mainly because out of him came Joseph, who saved all these people from famine. And then when we see that Jacob is buried beside Leah and not Rachel, and Rachel was his favorite wife, it, Leah is the one that produced half the children half the, tw the, the tribes, the, she produced six out of the 12 sons where the other women only produced two each. And so, man, that's, that's just, uh, that's such a great lesson for us is that at the end of the day, what matters most and how we are valuable is by what we produce. And this is certainly verified and you're probably tired of me just mentioning John 15 in almost any message, but man, to me, John 15 is the, the chapter in the Bible where we find out how or what it takes for us to be valuable as humans. And that's where Jesus says, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you'll bear much fruit, fruit that will last. Your life will produce things that glorifies God and brings joy to you. And so we see this. I believe this is a picture of that, that Jacob was so valued because of what his life produced. It wasn't even the, really the things that he did. It was what his, his, one of his sons did. And, and for Leah, it was that she, she was able to give birth to six sons. And, and out of the one son, Judah, um, we will get our Messiah, who like Joseph saved um, Egypt and, and surrounding areas from famine. So Jesus um, saves us from the, the, the dryness and the famine that sin produces. So, man, so just, just really dwell on that, that, man, you know, it's so easy for us in this world to think about being popular, attractive, wealthy, the smartest, the quickest, having the best wit, being the funniest. None of that matters. It's all about, is God able to produce things through you? And, man, I mean, it's just... And it's easier. It's, I mean, is it hard for us to abide in Christ and have his word abide in us? You know, there's temptations, but man, that's way easier than trying to be wealthy and um, witty and attractive. So, so may you and I just really focus on being productive for Christ because look at how Jacob was treated and valued. And then look that he was buried to not his own, favorite wife, not the most attractive wife, but he was buried beside the most productive wife.